Okay, so if you watch my video on how to record an electric guitar, then you basically understand how to record every instrument that has an electronic output, whether it be a bass guitar, keyboard, electronic drums, etc. So today I'm not going to rehash uh, how to record a bass guitar because it's the same. It's the same principles, the same idea. Instead, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to record an electric guitar and make it sound like a bass and uh, using some studio tricks and how to use a virtual instrument to make a bass guitar sound and these things are useful whenever you're writing up a quick demo that you want to shoot off to a band member or uh, you just want to re re remind yourself you know sometimes uh, for example I'm in the zone I'm playing a nice guitar guitar riff and then I'm like ah there, there's got to be a nice bass line under it and I'll come up with the bass line and I don't want to just throw the bass line away because I don't have a bass guitar at home so I can use my electric guitar to emulate a bass guitar and today I'm going to show you how to do that alright so the electric guitar that I'm using is a Les Paul Gibson uh, studio I recommend that you flip the switch to rhythm uh, turn the bass pickup all the way up and turn the tone all the way down uh, this is to get rid of any unwanted electric guitar uh, harmonics that you might not necessarily want or need in your bass guitar track okay so we insert a new track here arm the track and tell it where it's coming where the sound is coming from and then you're gonna monitor it let's give a quick test all right sounds good all right our BPM is 85 just like our example track black suit which you can download from Dropbox and let's get to recording well got to turn on that micro uh, metronome it's very important okay so now we have a nice electric guitar track first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a pitch shifter now pitch shifter just takes your pitch and shifts it up or down uh, Reaper comes bundled with repitch which is a really really simple and easy to use pitch shifter so we want to shift it down one octave then we want to do a little bit of compression recomp is really easy for this I recommend the stock uh, driving rock bass preset and auto makeup and in my opinion compression is really important with uh, any bass bass guitar sound uh, when you're using when you're playing rock music because it gives a steady steady warm sound to every track and that's important okay then we've got to do a little bit of EQing and that's because your your electron your electric guitar gives off some high-pitched harmonics and sounds even when you're playing low notes and low strings and we don't want those uh, to carry through so we're gonna cut those off and if we have a look here I'll show you all right so we don't need these harmonics and it's it's doing a pretty good job of cutting off most of it but we want all of it gone and that gives you a pretty passable electric bass sound uh, a nice trick that I discovered when I was working on my latest album unstuck in time uh, was that if you use uh, your fingers and an a acoustic classical guitar and you use the same method you get a bass guitar sound that sounds a lot like a stand-up bass and I went ahead and actually used that on the album because it sounded so much better than the electric bass that we were playing with all right so after you have your bass guitar you're not done because now what you have what you have is the same thing you would have if you had just recorded your bass guitar into the into the computer so we're gonna open up Amplitube and we're gonna model a bass amp 
and I'm sorry. So I recommend uh, Amplitude Free Complete Rigs Base Base Two. It gives you a solid state base preamp, a solid state power amp, and a one by fifteen base vintage uh, cab with a SM57 microphone, and it's a pretty solid and standard sounding bass. And then we turn it up so we get some quality. And there you go. You have a bass guitar. All right. So, but uh, on the slightly more professional side of things, or if you are working with electronic music, rap music, uh, pop music, hip hop, all the all the electronic uh, genres of music, uh, you're going to be using virtual instruments. And again, this is when having the right uh, BPM and using a metronome are key. All right, so uh, in order to get started with that, we just right click and insert virtual instrument on new track. Uh, Reaper does not come with many. But fortunately, you can find uh, hundreds of thousands of free virtual instruments and studio techniques on the internet. One that I recommend for bass sound in particular is the Forefront Bass Module. Uh, this is just a sampled bass guitar sound. It has no settings. Uh, you can't break it, essentially. You can't do anything that makes it sound bad. The one downside to this uh, bass VST is that you cannot bend uh, your bass guitar notes so but it's a free thing there's compromise so we have that ready then you are going to insert a new MIDI item okay now if you have a keyboard that's set up with MIDI uh, you should be familiar with how to transmit MIDI data straight from the keyboard to the computer and you can use the keyboard to record a more realistic uh, bass sound because you can have velocity changes and timing change tempo sorry timing changes and the little mistakes that make live music sound real whereas electronic music often sounds electronic because it is but today we're just going to do the electronic method so you double click on that and it's going to bring up your MIDI editor. The MIDI editor is very easy to use and all you do is okay just like a piano aha playing at half speed here Okay. All right. You can right click and select notes and then paste them. Dun 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 dun. All right. Let's give a listen. That is not the right note. It should be. What is that? Oh, that's an F. Uh -huh. Okay. So after you have your notes, uh, again, you can follow the same method that we did with this one. Uh, we apply a little bit of compression. The EQ is not necessary, at least not at this stage. And the amplitude. So let's go ahead and copy those move those over there and have a listen all right uh, one word of advice when you're using free VSTs uh, they are notorious for being low quality uh, not just in sound but in the way that they're programmed uh, many times I have come across VSTs that will crash Reaper just because they're not written very well. 
and often it's not when you have a single instance of the VST that it crashes but when you have multiple instances of the VST um, that's why when you come across a VST that you can run multiple instances of you sing its praises from the mountaintop because it is really a rare a rare thing to find a quality free VST okay but after you have your bass guitar recorded or your bass guitar uh, virtual instrument set up you put it in the track and you have you have a way for your track to have a bass guitar alright so uh, come back next time and I will show you how to make some simple electronic drums to lay on top of your simple uh, rock track.